Okay, in today's video, I'm going to go over calculating speed and velocity for one dimensional motion. Before we do that, I just want to go through and really just review quickly what the difference is between speed and velocity. Speed is how fast an object moves. Velocity is the rate of change of position. Speed is just how fast. Speed is a scalar, which means you describe it with its magnitude only, no direction. Here are some examples of speeds, 3.7.3 uh, meters per second and 50 kilometers an hour. We don't know which way they're going, north, south, east, west, up, down, over there, over here, positive, negative, but it's just the how fast. Speed is calculated by taking the distance divided by the time. Okay, just the total distance divided by the total time. All right, velocity is a rate of change of position. Velocity is a vector, which means you have to use the magnitude and the direction. So we got to have a number and a direction, east, west, north, south, positive, negative, something like that. And here are some uh, examples. We have plus three meters per second. That tells us that this object is going three meters per second in the positive direction, minus five meters per second, minus 50 kilometers an hour, minus five meters per second, meaning the object has a speed of five meters per second, but that it's going in the negative direction. So therefore we know its speed and its direction, so we know its velocity. So minus five meters per second means it's traveling at five meters per second in the negative direction. Okay, please remember that the sign of the velocity is the direction. Positive uh, velocity does not mean the object is necessarily speeding up, and negative velocity does not necessarily mean it's slowing down. The only thing the sign tells you is the direction. Okay, we could have east, west, north, south, but in math and physics, typically we use positive and negative. To calculate velocity, we take the change in position divided by the change in time. The position, is, the change in position is found by taking the final position minus the initial position, just those two points. The final minus the initial, you must always do final minus initial, otherwise you'll get the signs incorrect. We divide that by the change in time, and you should notice that that means that we don't care what the object did between its final position and its initial position. We don't care if it stopped or slow down. This is the average velocity that we're calculating here. Okay, so it's just final minus initial. We don't care what happened in between those two places. We just want to know how long it took to get from its final to its initial place. Excuse me, from its initial to its final place. Okay, or position. All right, so here are some problems. Let's go through and work out these problems and see if we can get the stuff figured out. Okay, I always tell my students, read the question. It says, what's the average speed? So it says, what is the average speed? So I'm just going to write down the equation for the speed. Write down the first thing you should always do is write down the equation. Speed is distance divided by time. And it says that the object went from A to B. So it went from A and started here. Each of these is 5 meters. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So the distance in this case is 25 meters. And the change in the time, it says, is 15 seconds. And that means that that is going to be, uh, let's see, 1.67 meters per second. OK? That is its speed. That's just how fast it went. We don't know which direction it went. We didn't specify which direction it went. But in this case, we're going to find the velocity. And the velocity, of course, as we said, is the position final minus the position initial, and we're going to divide that by the change in time. So we don't really care what it did in between. It's not that complicated in this case. But we know it went from A to B, so we know that B is at 30 meters. We know that it started so we're minus 5 meters because it started at 0.5, or at position 5 meters. And then we're going to divide that by the change in time. The change in time is the, diff is the same. So we know it went, and this is a, going to be a positive number, so I'm going to specify that it's positive 1.67 meters per second, okay? So you may think that these are exactly the same. They may look kind of the same, but here we specified it went in the positive direction, therefore we know it went in the positive direction. This one, although we have the number line here, we don't really know which direction it went in, okay? So let's go through and see if we can look at maybe one that's a little more complicated. But once again, here we have a problem, and it says that the object, what's the average speed? So I'm just going to write down my equation. First thing, write down the equation, okay? And the distance divided by the time. Now it says it went from B to D, so I'm just going to say 5, 10, 15. So that is just simply 15 meters. And it tells me that it took uh, 7 seconds. So I believe if I divide those two, or 15 by 7, I get 2.14 meters per second. That's the speed. Once again, it doesn't tell me the velocity, but let's figure out what the velocity is. The velocity is position final minus position initial. And that's going to be over the change in time. 
but the position final in this case, it went from B to D. The D is the final, so this is 15 meters, and minus the initial position, which is 30 meters. Okay, so then you can see here that the time is the same, 7 seconds, and uh, that means that 15 divided by, excuse me, 15 minus 30, minus 30 is minus 15, so you should hopefully see where this is going, minus 15 meters divided by 7 seconds, and that means that in this case, the answer is going to be negative 2.14 meters per second. So you can see it's very important that we use a negative sign because this tells us the speed it went and the direction which is the velocity. And you can tell we went this direction. Even though we're still all in the positive numbers, we were going in the negative direction. This is the negative direction. This is the positive direction. To the left is negative and to the right is positive. All right. So any motion to the left has to be negative and any motion to the right has to be positive. All right. So let's go through and uh, do one more set. Okay, once again, the first one says uh, speed. So the speed in this case, as you know, is distance divided by time. And the distance in this case, it says from C to D and then to point A. So now we're going to count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and that's 45 total. Okay, so if you count those up, you'll notice that that's 45 meters. The time is 15 seconds, and therefore we know the answer is 3 meters per second. That's the speed. All right. Now the velocity. This is we got to be careful on this one. The velocity is position final minus position initial over the change in time. Now we have three points here we have to consider, but we only need two of them. We don't care what the thing did in, the, in between when we're calculating the velocity. So we know the final place that went to A, the A is the final place, and I believe that A is going to be 5 meters minus the initial place. And the initial place was started at C, so that's actually minus 20. So I'm going to put minus 20 meters. I'm going to put parentheses around that to make sure I don't forget my minus sign and my negative. And the change in time is the same. 15 seconds. Now that means that 5 minus a minus 20 is actually 25 or positive 25 meters. And that means that this is 15 seconds. And that means in this case my answer is going to be a positive 1.67 meters per second. Oops, excuse me. Meters per second. So you can see that this case, even though we went from here and then we went um, to D and then we ended at A, from our starting place to our ending place, we had a positive velocity. We moved in the positive direction, okay? So that's what that tells us. And then to do that, it took 1.67 meters per second on average, and that was in the positive direction, okay? So try to remember the equations distance divided by time, and especially for velocity, it's uh, position final minus position initial. That's the only two things you care about. You don't care if the thing ran around back and forth uh, 20 times. All you care about is where it started and where it ended, and divide that by the total time. All right, so I think that should take care of it. Hopefully that was helpful for you, and um, we will see you next time. Thank you very much.